So all of that is is kind of self-explanatory going from player and, and continuing on in another area of football. What got you into basketball? Well, that was uh, I was always interested in basketball. I loved the sport. Uh, played in high school. Would play pickup every day when I went to MAC against the you know the the MAC basketball team or any other players that came out. So I always had an affinity for it. But my true affinity was on the business side of sports. So when this opportunity presented itself, it came in a kind of a, a, a strange way. I had uh, befriended our uh, founder, Richard Petko, uh, through another business I was doing. He was involved in a different league, running the Niagara River Lions. And uh, we started talking about, uh, you know, basketball and then the business side and how to deal with players and how to uh, deal with their uh, talk about the marketing aspect and he knew my background with the player association as a player he actually remembered me from my toronto days because he's a mississauga guy so um you know that that developed into you know if you were going to do something and you know, create a business or a league uh in basketball how would you do it and we kind of chatted and then he said we'll put something down on paper and we did that and kind of the rest is uh, history i mean that goes back now almost two years, maybe a little bit more than two years ago that we had the initial discussion. There was a plenty of work done, as you can imagine, behind the scenes. There's still a ton of work uh, to go with our seven months till tip off, but it led me to the opportunity that I'm in now, and it has just been uh, just an amazing ride. Tip-off for the Canadian Elite Basketball League is going to be in May and among the half-dozen teams that will play a 20-game regular season schedule at the outset. Guelph Nighthawks, I know I see their office. I haven't dropped in yet for a visit, but I will because when I go in there to the Sleeman Center to storm hockey, they're right there and uh, readily accessible. Uh, How would you describe what the caliber of play will be like, Mike? What will we see when they hit the court here in May? Well, it's going to be a very high caliber of play. They're, we're going to have 10-man rosters, which will have 70% Canadian content. Uh, those Canadians will come from you know, NCAA, from the U Sports uh, drafts that we're going to help hold. Uh, it'll come from international players that are playing overseas. We have over 160 players right now playing internationally. So a lot of the Canadian content will be between those three groups. Uh, And then we're going to supplement the remaining roster spots with international players that are playing in international leagues, FIBA recognized leagues across um, the world and, and of course, out of uh, major U.S. colleges uh, and other locations. Um, So we will be on par with the other leagues that are out there, like the the G League and and certain other uh, uh, leagues that exist in the world and especially internationally. So the quality of the game will be a very high level and we feel like we need to showcase our Canadian talent because you know basketball in Canada is on the rise in in a big big way and we're uh, recognized on the world rankings in the top 20 uh, for uh, FIBA men's and in the top five for FIBA women so we're producing a ton of talent we have I think 13 players now in the NBA uh, which would be kind of uh, the second most behind the U.S. So there are a lot of great, talented Canadians that are going to get an opportunity to showcase their skills and hopefully go to the next level, whatever that may be. The initial markets that have been selected are Edmonton, Saskatoon, Hamilton, Niagara Region, B.C.'s Fraser Valley, here in Guelph. Why those particular markets, Mike? How were they selected? Well, the process was it was extensive, and we wanted to look at the top 50 municipalities in the country, and uh, you know make sure that we chose areas that fit kind of uh, the profile in terms of um, you know population, economic growth, um, uh, statistics as it comes to fans of basketball. Um, we also wanted to make sure we were in very good uh, spectator facilities like the Sleeman Center and that we worked with kind of those arenas to make sure we had availability of dates that would be uh, great and we wanted to be able to eventually go truly from coast to coast right now we're in bc through to um, ontario we want to add a team in quebec we want to add a team out east we want to add a team in the middle of the country in in manitoba um, and fill in some more spots possibly in alberta bc and ontario so we have growth plans to get to about 12 teams in total, 
Um, but we're very happy where we stand right now with our six uh, founding clubs. And, you know, by 2020, we hope that number to grow to uh, 10 or greater. The, the timing will be perfect here, Mike, because we're hoping and, and thinking the Guelph Storm can have a long playoff run. But that would wrap up in May just as you're getting going. Yeah, and that was done on purpose. There's, there's a couple reasons for that. One is, um, you know, we, we looked at the availability. We don't want to have direct competition. Most basketball leagues uh, play during the winter season, which is head-to-head with the majority of the OHL teams or other hockey teams across the country. That causes issues for both parties. You know, you're competing for the same ticket buyer, for the same sponsorship dollar, for the same, you know, advertising and marketing space. And really, uh, separating that season to the spring-summer season for us was a no-brainer. And it certainly, if you talk to the Guelph Storm, I think they're pretty happy that we're not competing head-to-head uh, in that way. And we hope they go all the way as far as they can uh, into the playoffs. And if we have to, you know, put the floor down and up and back down again because they got ice there, then that's great. You know, we support that. But we don't want to get into that direct competition. And then we looked at the fact that the spring-summer is a downtime for international basketball, which will help us attract back some of our top Canadians and some of our top international talent and, and really uh, be the only true basketball outside of the WNBA that plays in the spring and summer months. Really look forward to the start of this next uh, May, Mike, and, and best of luck to you and everything that will be associated here with the Canadian Elite Basketball League. Well, thanks so much, and we're excited to bring our our, uh, our league and the and the Nighthawks to Guelph. And I know our president uh, Cam Cush and his staff are w- working diligently in that uh, market to get people engaged and excited. And we will be a big community partner. That's one of the things that we've always uh, you know made a high priority. So you will see our players out and about town probably come in around uh, April or so, and expect some announcements soon related to our coaching staff as well.